So you couldn't play Mozart? Because it's, it's basically a lot of movement in your first position in violin here and the third. You move up with your left hand and with other pieces you go even higher. And that's where I have a problem stretching uh -huh. here to, okay. to be able to reach there. So your thumb stays behind your while thumb, you're stretching your fingers. Yeah, and then eventually the thumb moves onto the body of the violin. But just that little slip there is very sore. And is the pain coming to that point the there? The pain, pain okay. is here. Okay, so that's getting those tendons. So, uh -huh. but here in the beginning I couldn't play here and now this is more comfortable. I can play okay. you a little bit, don't Please. know what will come out. finger the little finger if you bend it a little bit then it's not so sore what I've done in the meantime now is to move into second position to uh, to prevent myself from using my fourth finger okay there I can easier change the position of my thumb then it's not so sore the moment I do the stretch if it's if it's bent there and I do the stretch it's not so sore okay um, is it painful when you are pressing your little finger into the strings it, it, it's and a combination it? it's a combination okay so you're feeling not pain here then it's here yeah okay But I've learned to move my thumb around a little bit to try and prevent that, prevent the pain from hitting me okay. <laughs> or to be so sore. Um, Do you have any pain in the strain? No, okay. not at all, not at all. But I have experienced in this joint like a click thing, like like it's it's triggering, triggering something here, okay. but not when I play violin. Um, I, I can 